guys, so uh, over here we have the existing Adventure Quest worlds. Over here we have Infinity, our very first NPC check. We just literally put these NPCs in today. Nothing like cutting things close for packs. Ooh. So uh, we're going to expand the uh, first map here considerably. What do you think? You can see a little parallax going on in the background as you walk by, and you can see the background just kind of sliding. There you got Alina and Glazelle and Yoshino and J6, and there's Despair for the first time ever, although her bubble is too low. And if we click, oh, and here's another neat thing. If you click on the characters, you can now target NPCs. Can you kill NPCs? Okay, we should probably test the killing of NPCs. And then, of course, you can... That's, that's Mr. Guy up there. There's also a Mrs. Guy. <laughs> Mrs. Guy. Mr. Guy. <laughs> and, uh... Adventure Ghost Worlds Infinity. Progress. Oh, wait. You want to see one more thing? Since we're just all hanging out here. So, go up here. Hey, there's Tunic. He's doing our interface stuff. So, uh... Oh, I took the particles out. Anyways, I got the fountain working so you can walk around the fountain doesn't break anymore. I did have some water there, but it's it's not it's not as good as it should be yet. Yet. All right. So, uh progress. Oh, you know what? While we're at this, well, one more thing. So, I'm I'm logged on and here I am in my warrior armor and I have my entire inventory from the original Adventure Quest Worlds. And over here, uh, you can see that I have a warrior equipped as well. Um, the new game, oh sorry, the new game shares the same pool of adventure coins and gold. So if you buy currency here, you will get it here. And if you buy it here, you will get it here. And if you get an item here, as long as it's allowed to go back, most things will, but if we build something that uses the new features, like the, the new test class that Spider is working on, it will not be able to go um, backwards. Some things will come forward but won't have all their features. Like, there's a lot of animations on these things that they're going to have to be manually redone, which is going to be very hard to do on all 10,000 armors. We'll, we'll make a list, we'll have a, a system to, to do this, and some of you have been asking why we're, we're going to do a Kickstarter, which is still currently the plan. I've had a lot of, you know, former artists and people say, hey, if you guys need some extra help, and we're like, well, we do. We just couldn't, you know, really put it in the budget because we're still building the normal game. So we're going to run a Kickstarter to raise funds and do some of this crazy manual work Yay. to convert these armors over. And uh, we got a lot to do to kind of bring all these characters to life and make them move. But we do have one big advantage that we didn't have in the previous version of the game is that Mr. Guy here is built the exact same way as a player. He can move, he can animate, he can use all the emotes. So theoretically, any of these characters could do everything that the player can do. Artix, am I seeing rain in Battlehome? Yes, but that'll be leaves when we fix it. Also, you can see that this is fuzzy. Well, maybe you can't, but this background is a little fuzzy. But J6 just sent over, um, instead of doing one atlas where we're smushing it all into one small atlas, we're going to use three atlases and stitch them together so that the background can be higher quality. Ooh. I like that you're on point, <laughs> Stellaria. <clears throat> so one final uh, note about Adventure Quest World's Infinity. Uh, these flash uh, assets are really amazing because they can scale up to any size. Wow. <laughs> Give this girl some ACs for this. That's She's so, like on point. It's unscripted, which makes it even funnier. There, there's our marketing department in 10 years. <laughs> but when we convert these things over, the, the line, the, 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 this line art here, wait, can I just zoom in like this? There we go. These lines that are really thick, uh, and I, I like the way they look in Flash, and it's one of the things that just 
The flash will always be special because nothing can replicate it. When we bring it over, uh, the line art gets really thin. So it's gonna look different. However, it looks amazing on mobile, like on phones and, and tablets, which I would totally take a picture of this thing running on my iPhone, except for I have to record it with my iPhone. <laughs> so, all right. So uh, there, I rambled on enough. I hope you guys like this little preview. We're making progress. I'm gonna put these guys all around town. Uh, we built a new uh, special PAX weapon, which will be available. Um, and not just to the people who come to PAX to see us, but anybody who does the, the special thing and will announce it at PAX, you can get the P apostrophe A-X-E, the P AX, designed by J6. And uh, you will get it not only in, so that you'll have it for this new Adventure Quest Worlds Infinity, but you'll also get it um, so that you can use it in the existing Adventure Quest Worlds and so that you can use it in Adventure Quest 3D. All right. Yay. Battle on. <laughs>